Joshua. 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 Joshua's tip, tip of the day. Joshua's tip, tip of the day. Hello, family, and welcome to Joshua's tip of the day. Today's tip of the day involves our composting toilets here in the Morpho. As you can see, this one isn't the most inviting at this time. And that's when Josh decided to take matters into his own hands. Attention to detail is very important. And there you have it, folks. A nice, inviting space to take a poop. striving to turn all waste into resources. We have a unique system where our water table is only five to six millimeters below ground, so we wanted to keep all of our composting toilet needs above ground. At first, 55 gallon barrels was our only option until we came up with a new sustainable form building compunctor blocks. But for now, we've been using MN inside of our barrels after they become three quarters full, which includes rock dust and mixed mountain microorganisms. After sitting in the barrel for a year, we then empty out three barrels onto the plastic where we add more MN and other additives to it to help complete the process, where it sits in this pile for a month, transferred over to the next pile for a month, and over to the last pile for a month, and from there we use it on planting with our trees and adding compost to them. We only use this on our large trees at this moment. We're in the process of getting it all tested to be used for other types of compost. When coming in to use the restroom, it's always important to check for the green and red light. The green means that it is accessible, red means someone's using it, or there needs to be a barrel replaced or no barrel at all. Also, before coming around the corner or coming too close, it's also helpful to say, Oofe, hello, Yodeli! Anyone there? Just so that we're not just walking in on people pooping. After making a deposit here at Kinkamorpho, we don't actually have a flush. So the flush here is actually the dry sawdust. So you'll step up, make sure to lift up the seat. And then from here, you'll add as many scopes of sawdust it takes to cover the poop in all toilet people visible. As you can see, some people don't actually cover it all up. One, what? two scoops doesn't always make sure that we get it all covered. You still see a lot of white and didn't cover Two, it all. Three, four, five, Set. Set. Not 
should be good enough. As you can see, also, in the process, we spilled a little sawdust. To make sure, I just do a little quick cleanup. Close both lids so that the flies and other things can't get in. The last few things that you need to know about the composting toilet is when the, at the end of the toilet paper roll, this just goes in with the, your toilet. We don't need to keep them up here. There's no reason for that. As you can see, there's two backup toilet paper rolls. If you're down to the last roll and there is no backup, there is extra toilet paper in the kitchen above the pantry where all the produce is filled. Um, the metal container is full of biochar. You can sprinkle biochar inside the compost toilet if you have any kind of odor which right, right now there is no odor because there's enough sawdust covering everything, making sure it works. The next thing we have over is this bottle of liquid. That liquid is disinfectant with water and hydrogen peroxide. That is to clean and disinfect the areas. The bottle brick above it is for medical waste and any feminine hygiene products that don't actually belong in our compost toilet that have plastic like cellophanes or any types of these things. Also, if you notice that the toilet is three quarters full, please don't use it and go to the next one and let someone know so we can take care of it. Well, that concludes today's Joshua's Tip of the Day. Thank you for watching and I'm glad you're here. Meow. More glow at pink and more glow at